So the whole point of this project was to use this device that I had seen on um, Corning's website, uh, Kinematic Models for Design, um, that converted uh, rotational motion to linear motion. But with the tools I had, it seemed that the easiest way to do this would actually be to use sort of a piston. So I'm, I'm doing that. Um, so this is the, the way that it's going to work. Um, and then on top of this piece here, we'll ride a, an arm that holds the tea bag and, um, and, and dunks it. The idea before had a, a pulley type thing. And um, which would which would sit here and move with this, and then that would um, go on this piece underneath this, and and move this up and down on between two um, posts. But this the friction of the the pulley that I got spinning was greater than the friction between. Um, the top of the pulley and this copper, which was supposed to be pushing it up. So that, so that was one problem. Another problem was getting this piece of bent copper pipe to be, to have the ends perfectly parallel. And then also when this would shift over here, um, the side would want to, would be heavier and it would pivot on top of that and it would get stuck on the, on the posts that it was supposed to be riding up and down on. So that was, um, so that idea had to be scrapped. One nice thing about having it shaped like this though, is that it sort of counteracts the, the sine wave of, of, the, of the vertical motion, how it's faster when the pivot is going up or down the, the sides than in the middle. So this sort of counteracts that. So that would have been really neat. But we're settling on this. And I think it'll be pretty cool.